Legends, good evening. New video for you. Hey guys, what's happening? It has been probably about a week since I uploaded onto this channel. Uh, not keeping score on absolutely anything at the minute, like the rest of 2020. I'm sure, like the rest of you guys, is just going to be like, you know, let's just take it as it comes. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. Because right now, as you know, if you've seen the last video on here, I'm talking about quitting smoking and whatnot, it has not been an easy process. And this last week or so has been no different. A little bit, well, in ways, a little bit easier than the previous week. But, uh, the, fa the fact temper has started to set on slightly. Uh, patience is completely gone at this point. And I have discovered that I do not have, really, at the moment, any filter left on myself. When it comes to, uh, things that can you know, kind of irritate you, and uh, that's where I'm at right now. I used to be, and didn't really realise this to how I had quit smoking, that uh, if something irritated me, you know, something at work, or someone just started getting in your nerves, I, most of the time, um, a very inward person. Uh, if you know me in real life, I'm not just as open and straightforward as I am on the videos here. It takes a little bit of time to get through the outer shell and get to know me. And if things went not the way I was hoping for it to go, got irritated about something, I would have went, sparked up a cigarette, chilled out and uh, just processed the whole thing. And nine times out of ten, if there was a situation where, you know, uh, you could possibly be in a bad mood over something. Never really happened because the filter was there, the cigarettes was there, that was my filter. Just like, you know, uh, I'm not going to get involved in absolutely anything. I'm just going to go have a smoke, chill out. That hasn't been the case this week. There have been a couple of times where uh, some stuff happened. And I was well within my rights to open my mouth and say something. And for a change, I've been doing that. So, uh, yes benefits all around but the point of this video is that you can actually if you put your mind to it you can do virtually anything uh, I never ever thought I would see the day where I could last this long without having a cigarette if I can make it to this Wednesday coming it'll be five weeks since I've had a smoke which is absolutely epic in my book. And there's a little fly in here with me. So, uh, you know, you need to get yourself into the proper mindset of doing this sort of thing. And uh, it took me a long time to get myself there, to get prepared for it. But the big, biggest problem probably for me was the, the physical side of things. Um, yes, I just, I don't know. I was almost more dependent on nicotine than I was on actual oxygen at a time. It's just, it sounds so flippin' stupid to say it out loud. But literally, first thing in the morning, since I wake, woke up, I would just reach for a cigarette, have a smoke, and it's at points there, you know, I was smoking maybe seven to eight cigarettes in the morning before I got to work. So, you know, that's probably the one time of the day where you don't really have a lot of time on your hands. And I was still managing to get cigarettes. Seven of them smoked at that point. Brutal. All together. So, uh, mm, that is a tough one to do. Uh, and at some point, I'm going to get into what I've had to do to actually get myself off of cigarettes. Now, I can't really see on the screen here at the minute because I've got a, a new one shield on the camera but I'm looking one thing I will tell you is there has been a physical side effect to me trying to come off of cigarettes now it was a big big thing for me physically to get off it and just to sicken my system and 
actually really 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 did have to really hardcore sicken my system on cigarettes to the point where you know I just had to quit and uh, I started the the nicotine replacement therapy about this time last year it is now we're into November what November 8th at the moment and last year on the lead up to my trip to New York I was planning to get off of cigarettes and I started into the patches at that point strongest patch and my way of doing it is as I said actually really sicken yourself off cigarettes so you get the patches on you the strongest ones and you continue smoking you buy yourself a pack of cigarettes if you're lucky you can do it from that pack of cigarettes or like myself it could take multiple months to do it so I was in the strong patch the strongest patch uh, step one and uh, smoking roll-ups which is a lot of people would say a lot stronger than a normal cigarette I never found that to be the case. I found them to be easier on the chest than actual real cigarettes. But I digress. Uh, the physical side of things kicked in around that time. If you can see it, probably here is the bit you can see most. My skin isn't the clearest at the moment. But uh, if you can see there, and there, and there, there is uh, a little bit of alopecia happening. Now, since I've cut down on the, the patches, I'm at step two now. I did have another patch here, which was quite bad. Now, that started to fall back in again. And I think, just going by my own research, I haven't actually went to the doctors. And again, I'm chewing chewing gum. Like, it's going out of fashion at the moment. You know, you need something to, you know, take your mind off the, the smoking part of things. So, you know, onto the, the uh, chewing chewing gum. But what I can make out on my own research is it possible to become uh, allergic to something. Can you make yourself allergic to nicotine? And uh, they say uh, like a, an allergic reaction to nicotine can have the effect of alopecia. So I'm thinking, I'm just spitballing here because I'm not a doctor. I'm going through this thing and just uh, saying it as I see it. And uh, have I actually got to the point now on nicotine patches where I've actually made myself allergic to nicotine? I've got no idea, but it's it's kind of weird when uh, you look at it in the way of, you know, you've been on these patches, the strongest ones, for so long. A lot longer, by the way, than you're actually recommended to. But again, every body is different. And, you know, some people could stop smoking within a couple of weeks. Some people could just cold turkey straight away and never smoke again. Me, uh, not so much the case. Um, I smoked like a train on the nicotine patches. And just, you know, this is the physical side effect I'm having. But since I've went down to the step two patch on uh, the nicotine replacement therapy, this part here has started to fall back on again. So awesome. So uh, I've got another week, just over a week in the step two, then I'm going to do another two weeks on the step three patch. And uh, then I'm going to get rid of the patches all together, but I'm going to hang on to the, the little inhalers for a bit. These here bad boys are pretty good for taking the, you know, the edge off a of craving. Basically all that is, is uh, let me set the camera down here. So I can show you it. Just inside this little cylinder you just, you know, puff on it like it was an actual cigarette. But inside here is just this little cylinder here that has, oh, is this going to focus now? This is the next thing. Okay, you're going to focus my hand more than me. Okay, I think we're getting up there. That little cylinder just has a little bit of uh, sponge in the centre of it, right here, and it's just full of uh, nicotine, clean nicotine. So, you know, nicotine's a thing. They say nicotine itself isn't harmful for the body. It's highly addictive, not really harmful for the body. It's the all the other crap that's put into tobacco 
it really does the damage to your system so you know I'll hang on to those after I get off the patches and here's hoping I can stick with it and stay off the cigarettes but uh, literally if you put your mind to it and uh, you're willing to put your body through the abuse that it's going to have to take to get yourself off and that's well worth it because within that first four and a half weeks at this point I am noticing a huge huge change in even me, me breathing at this point uh, I'm still a little bit wheezy on and off but that's more the lungs starting to clean themselves out a little bit uh, that's disgusting territory if we're going to go down that road at the moment not going to do that but uh, you know your lungs will gather up a lot of crap when you're smoking and when you stop they naturally start cleaning themselves out so you're going to be like coughing up a lot of crap and it's just like uh, it's not good at all but it's nice to not be having that uh, wheezing going on in the background when you're doing stuff one of the big motivators for me if you watch any of my past videos where i'm out with the drone and stuff i got there and i'm you know walking about and part of the video there's music over the top of it that it doesn't really make sense for the music to be there the reason for that being is at those points plus the fact that i was extremely overweight at the time and smoking like a train it actually sounded like Darth Vader was behind the camera recording some of that stuff. So if you see any of the older videos, there's music in there, it makes no sense whatsoever for it to be there. That is why that's it, there. That's to cover up me, actually. <laughs> Just dying behind the camera and, you know, no physical stress by any means. It's just the, the lungs taking a hammer because of the smoking and being overweight. So, yes, um talking for about 12 minutes now that is a lot more than i was expecting to talk about in this video but i just wanted to put something up tonight just to give you a little bit of motivation I haven't done that for a while uh you know there's so much more that i could say on this subject and uh i probably will at some point uh, i've learned a lot over the past couple of years you know, kicking the cigarettes is by no means, it's one of the hardest things I've had to do in my life, but it's not, it's not the hardest that I've done in the past. And, uh, well, I'm saying that we're only five weeks deep into this year, anything can happen at this point. Well, almost five weeks deep. But uh, I have kicked all our dependencies in the past. And, uh, I think the mindset thing is going to be a big subject on this channel over the next couple of weeks and uh, the places you're going to find yourself in to get to the point where you can do this sort of stuff is actually pretty surprising from my experience. So that's going to do it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed it, if you did give it a big thumbs up please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and definitely check out my social media links below this video there's a lot of stuff i'm doing off this platform at the minute that i think you might find pretty interesting uh it's not like a content on this channel whatsoever so definitely check that out and the website coinsagemedia.com big love and i'll talk to you in the next video